Hi, everybody! Hello from Quarantine Hell! Actually, it's not that much hell. I mean, I got a kitchen, I got a camera, I've got snacks to try. How bad can it be? Aren't you guys? Welcome to Yudamone Smart to my channel where I'm doing some taste tests for you guys today. If you've never been here before, I'd love to have you come back for more. There you go, that's enough plugging. All right, you guys, check it out. Today we got something really fun to try. These guys contacted me after the show back in January and I got these in the mail. Um, these are called Stuffed Puffs. Stuffed Puffs. It's hard to say Stuffed Puffs. Uh, so check it out. Ooh. Stuffed Puffs. Making stuff with Stuffed Puffs. Making stuff with Stuffed Puffs. Okay, so check this out. This is a really interesting product to me. It's filled marshmallows made with real chocolate, great for s'mores. So they are marshmallows, but inside them, I can feel them, there's like a chunk of chocolate in there. So when you are camping or glamping or in your kitchen with your kids or whoever else, or maybe you just want to eat these at your desk at work. Who knows? Maybe you're in your home office just popping these one after the other. Um, these are uh, marshmallows with chocolate inside. So let's go down to the counter and I'll tell you about them. Boo! I have to tell you, I have been looking at these for a couple weeks now and I am so excited to try these. I am a big ch uh, chocolate fan. I'm a big uh, marshmallow fan. I'm not necessarily a big s'mores fan, but you know, if you get marshmallow and chocolate, how can it be bad? And yeah. What we have here is the Stuffed Puffs Filled Marshmallows Made with Real Chocolate. It says, great for s'mores. Great for s'mores. Sure, I'd like some s'more. Um, let's see if I can read this to you here. You can go to stuffedpuffs.com. It says, warning, choking hazard. That's good. All right, so we have 150 calories for two pieces. Oh, so two pieces, 150 calories. That's pretty much. Probably because of the chocolate fat in there. Uh, six grams of fat. It's got a little bit of sodium, 15 grams, total carbohydrate, 25 grams, and two grams of protein. There you go. Uh, it says it has milk chocolate, it has sugar, whole milk, cocoa butter, unsweetened chocolate, soy lecithin, natural vanilla extract, corn, sugar, corn syrup, water, vegetable, palm oil, dextrose, gelatin, chocolate, natural and artificial flavoring, uh, cornstarch, powdered sugar, polyglycerol esters of fat, trying to read because of the different colors here, um, polyphosphate, potassium, sorbate, ascorbic acid, citric acid, and blue number one, uh, contains milk and soy. So it tells you even here, there's some little instructions. It says roast, add graham crackers, enjoy. So there's a whole three-step process to that. So um, this is kind of heavy, you guys. It's kind of, kind of interesting. All right, let's get to tasting. I forgot, I also have the honey-made graham crackers here, which are, um, oh, I just love graham crackers. They're so delicious. If you are not in America, they are a light, sweet cracker. They're kind of halfway between a cracker and a cookie. So I'll tell you more about that in a second. All right, let's get tasting. Boo! Whoop. Now you know all there is to know. Um, so yeah, uh, two pieces, 150 calories. So these are a little, a little caloric, but it's got chocolate in it. It's got chocolate in it. Also on deck, I have some Nabisco honey made graham crackers. This isn't part of the thing, but I got these so that we could make microwave s'mores since we're all in quarantine. And since I live in California, you dare not go make a fire outside because they will come and sue your butt, sue your butt, sue your ass. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try making some microwave s'mores. I guess I could do it over the stove, but I just can't be bothered. So um, I'm more interested in the flavor of the marshmallows than I am actually the authenticity. So uh, if you don't know, if you live outside the United States and you're like, what Robert is a s'more? A s'more is traditionally a marshmallow roasted on a camp and over a campfire uh, on a big fork or something else like that. You get a nice toast on there and get it nice and warm. Then you put it between a graham cracker, which is this, I'll tell you what those are in a second and you put a slice of chocolate. So it's a, a three layer little sandwich cookie. You got graham crackers, which are sweetened crackers. You also have the marshmallow and the chocolate. And these guys have <laughs> apparently come out with a great product. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll find out. We're two steps are in here, so it's really easy. Um, yeah, they even tell you right here. Uh, roast, add graham crackers, and enjoy. I, I mean, that can't get any more simple. And um, I think when you've got kids or you are in a camping situation, the easier, the better. I always found it difficult that when you were camping to unwrap the chocolate, which actually gets very stiff on cold nights when you're out camping. So 
I'm interested to see if the chocolate warms up in these. Okay, let me tell you what a graham cracker is if you haven't heard. A graham cracker is a sweetened biscuit cracker cookie. It's kind of halfway between a cookie or and a cracker, so it's both. It's um, lightly sweetened, it's not super sweet. Um, a lot of Americans feed these to their children because they're great when they're teething. Where's my snippy? Uh, what else to tell you, Mom? They're made from the gram of the wheat, which is a, the germish part, and um, they look like this. So it's just, a, it's just a big cracker, and what you can do is it's, it's scored, so you can break it in half, and then when you put the marshmallow in between, you can make a sandwich. So um, if you've never had graham crackers, they're delicious. I love them. I love them in milk or coffee or tea. Um, you have to be quick because you're like, boop, and in the mouth because they disintegrate. So there you go. There's your life lesson about what a graham cracker is. Um, what is in here? Uh, just to let you know about that one, it's uh, flour, wheat, niacin, blah, 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 blah. Whole grain, wheat, flour, sugar, canola oil, honey. Oh, it actually does have honey in it. Uh, leavening agent. So there you go. And uh, these apparently are made in Mexico. Who knew? Okay, so here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to take these and I'm going to put them between uh, the crackers and I'm going to pop them in the microwave. So I'm going to take you over there and we're going to see if we can melt them just slightly because I don't want to roast them. But I just want to get the flavor. I just want to see what the, the flavor is. So before we do that, why don't we pop these open and give one a taste? Raw, quote unquote. Let's taste it raw. All right, so snip this, snip this. It, ta it smells very much like um, marshmallows, if you've ever had marshmallows. Did you know that marshmallows are one of the world's oldest candies all from Egypt? The more you know. Okay, so they look a little funky. So they have the drippy ends on them. It also looks like they have a little chocolate things here. So I'm not exactly sure how these are made, if they're made in a mold or if they're extruded. But um, so that's what it looks like. Probably pretty bright. All right, so it's kind of heavy for a marshmallow. And it also, it feels like there's like an eyeball or something inside there. So let's, let's, um, let's just use Snippy and cut it in half. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that worked pretty well. Okay, so here we go. There we go. You can see it's got the chocolate in the middle. Uh, the chocolate looks to be about the size of a Hershey's Kiss, if you're familiar with that size. So let's give it a little, little taste. Let's try the marshmallow first. Tastes like your standard marshmallow. Sweet, sugary, very vanilla flavored. All right, let's try it with the chocolate. Well, let's try the chocolate first. Can we? Honestly, chocolate tastes a little cheap. It tastes a little fudgy. I wish it had more cocoa solids in it. It tastes kind of greasy, but it does taste of chocolate. And together, It's pretty good. I think the chocolate and the vanilla work together well. Mmm. You know, uh, they've got the balance right. So the chocolate and the vanilla together with the marshmallow. That's a nice combo. Mmm. The more you know. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a pause here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a plate. Oh. Did you see in my cupboard? Oh my. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a plate. I'm gonna get a couple graham crackers. I'll just take one of these and bust it in half. Then I'm gonna get, they're a little sticky in the package. I'm going to get one this way. So one on the side. I got an 80 nose. Don't touch your face. And I'm gonna put one upright like that. And then we're gonna pop it in the microwave. Let me see if I can film what's gonna happen here. And then we'll come back and we will give it a little taste test. Okay, this is 20 seconds. So 20 seconds in the microwave, not very long at all. Let's see what happens. I'm concerned that the, the marshmallow, oh, it's all pretty mushy. So look, look at that. Oh my God, yes, 20 seconds s'mores at home. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look, you guys, that's a 20 second s'more. Okay, so this is kind of my worst nightmare as a bearded man. I don't know how to eat this. I'm gonna try to pull my beard back. I'm gonna try to pick this up. 
This is always the worst part about s'mores for me. I love them, but the, the uh. all right. That's a mess. That's a mess. Hi, hi, having s'more? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to do this and then go wash up because that's a big old mess. Okay, I wasn't even concentrating on the flavor. I was just concentrating in my mouth. All right. You know what? That is a delicious 20 seconds more. Okay, yeah. I was not expecting it to be that good. The combination, it is a mess. The combination of the chocolate melting, the marshmallow, is all, yeah, this is exactly, I don't exactly this more. I'm getting texted to death right now. It's the flavor. It's the crunch. It's the chocolate. It's the sweetness. Um, and I want some more. There you go. I don't know what else to say, except I have a mess. Hello, marshmallow everywhere. <laughs> it's a success. They taste good. Super sweet. One, I'm done. I guess I'm not going to show you the microwave because I'm not going to make any more, but there you go. Stuff puffed, you guys. These are these are delicious. Give them a try. Um, I'm not just saying that. I, I actually really did like them. Definitely a kid's treat. Super, super sweet. So, one for the gram. And uh, yeah, there you go. All right, you guys, I'm Robert Jones, looking super sticky with marshmallow on my face, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. I'll try to put a link down below so you guys can find these online. All right, you guys, take care. Bye.